This is Nick with LogosByNick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create this isometric set of numbers that appear to be uh, carved into the surface using Inkscape. And at any point in this tutorial you could look down at the bottom left hand side of my screen to see which mouse clicks and keystrokes I'm using. So we'll minimize this and we'll get started here in Inkscape. By the way, if you'd like to know how you can make Inkscape appear dark and with these custom icons like I have, uh, I will have a link to that, that, that uh, information in the description of the video. So let's get started here in Inkscape. We're going to want to make sure the view is set to custom. We're going to want to make sure we're zoomed in at one to one. And we'll open up our line and distribute menu. And then we'll open up our edit objects, colors, gradients, and stroke menu. So when we're designing anything uh, in an isometric style, we're going to want to set up a grid on the page in order for us to uh, you know, reference and work with throughout the design process. So let's go to File, Document Properties, and uh, I'm going to uncheck these boxes to turn off the, uh, the page border. And I'm going to come over here to Grids, and I'm going to go down to Axonometric Grid and hit New. And you'll see that puts a grid all over the page here, but these increments are a little too small. So I'm gonna change the, um, the spacing from one, I'm gonna change that to 20, I'll hit two zero and hit enter. And just make sure you have these values set uh, as the same as mine. I'm pretty sure this is the standard uh, input for, in for Inkscape, but uh, just in case it's not, make sure you have it set to these parameters. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and close out of that. And here we have our grid on the page that we could use as a reference point to draw the letters. So. Uh, the numbers actually. So the first number I'm going to work with is the number zero because it's the easiest for me to show you the process we're going to take with this. So we're going to grab the Bezier pen which is over here or we could just press B on the keyboard and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start our uh, we're going to snap it to one of these corners right here, one of these intersecting areas. We're going to click and we're going to move this up and to the right three increments. So there's one, two, and three and then click and then we're going to bring it this way up into the left five increments. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, and click. And then again, we're going to go back this way three increments, one, two, three, and click. And then back to the starting point. And that's going to be the shape and size of each number that we create here. So um, this is going to be the, I'm, I'm just going to use this as the number zero. So let's draw this line here, starting here, one increment up from the corner, and then click one increment this way, and click, and then one, two, three, and then over here, and then back to the starting point, and there's our number zero. So let's come over here and draw the number two now. We're gonna wanna put these letters one increment apart as far as spacing goes. So here's one right here. We're gonna start this right here on the same guide that this number zero is sitting on. So we'll start this right here, click. We're gonna go three increments over, one, two, three, and then we're going to go three increments up, one, two, three. And then we're going to go two to the right, one, two. We're going to go up one, one, and then over two, one, two, up one, over three, one, two, three, and click. And then we're going to bring this one, two, three increments down this way and click. And then two increments this way and then one increment this way, and then one, two this way, click and snap it back to the starting point. And there's our number two. So that should give you an idea of how I'm gonna go about creating all of the numbers and how you can go about creating these number uh, additional numbers yourself. So let's do the number one now, this should be pretty easy. We're gonna go one increment over from the, numbers, from the number zero, click, click, and then bring this up five increments and click over here and then back here. Pretty simple, there's our number one. And what we're gonna do now is create a six. So let's come over one increment away from the uh, the number one, and click, go three steps over, one, two, three, and then three steps up, one, two, three, and then two steps over to the left, one, two, one step up, and two steps over to the right, up here, one step, and then three steps over this way, and then back to the starting point. So it's pretty self-explanatory. You're just going around drawing the shapes of the numbers or the letters or whatever you'd like to create here. So uh, we have to put the, uh, the hole inside the six. So we're just gonna use this square right here, just like that, a simple square like that. And there's our 2016. So let's come over to the, um, the, select, the select tool 
And I'm going to click and drag over everything we just created. And I'm going to make that all one shade of gray. I'm going to make this maybe, uh, let's see, 10% gray. Maybe a little lighter, 7.5% gray. That's pretty good. We can click off of that to deselect. And what we have now is uh, we have to punch a hole through the zero and the six. So let's click on this shape here in the middle and then hold shift and click on the shape beneath it and go to path difference. And now that's a proper zero. Same thing over here, click on this shape and then hold shift and click on the, uh, the bigger shape beneath it and go to path difference. And we're gonna get rid of that black outline by clicking and dragging over all of it and then holding shift and clicking on this X down here in the lower left hand corner and that gets rid of all of that. So there we have our 2016 uh, sitting on an isometric plane. What we have to do now is draw the inner the inner shading to make it look like it's carved into like the surface of uh, whatever it's sitting on. So uh, let's go back to the Bezier pen. We can press B on the keyboard to grab that. And we're going to start this shadow over here in this top corner. Click, bring this down one step, and then bring this over to this corner right here, and then down one step right here. I'm going to bring this over to the edge right there and then connect that back to the starting point right there so we have this shape inside of the two and again we're going to come down here and draw another spot where the shading is going to be we'll click on that and click on this and then right here and right down there and then back to the starting point and there you'll see we have we're drawing the inner shading we're going to draw one little piece for right here as well so let's uh, draw this right here there we have that. So let's go and color those in though. Let's go uh, grab the select tool and then hold shift and click on all of those shapes we just drew. And we're gonna make this a darker shade of gray, maybe uh, 30%, maybe 20. No, 30 is good. And then we'll get rid of the outline by holding shift and clicking on the X. And then we can click off it to deselect everything. So if you zoom out a little bit, you'll start to see it taking form. It doesn't look so convincing up close, but if you zoom out a bit, you'll see it kind of looks like a number two carved into the surface. It'll look a lot better when we, once we're done and we get rid of the grid. So let's continue on with this. Um, the letter zero is next, so we're going to draw our shading objects right there. And uh, press B on the keyboard to get the busy A tool. And we're going to start at this top corner over here, and then go down here, bring this down there back up there and to the starting point. So we have that simple little shape right there. And again, we're gonna start at this top right corner, come down here, over to this corner, and then straight down one step, then over to the bottom right corner of the zero and back to the starting point. And again, we'll go back to the select tool, hold shift, click on the other shapes. So we have them both selected and I believe I made that 30% gray. So we'll make that 30% gray. We'll get rid of the outline by holding the shift and clicking on the X. And for the number one, let's click off of that to deselect. It's the number one, the shading's pretty simple. We're just going to draw a little shape in there like that. So let's uh, grab the Bezier pen again, press B on the keyboard, and we'll start at the top right corner of the one, and go straight down over to the corners, back to the starting point. And then uh, I'm just going to leave that how it is now. I'll go back and color it in once I'm done with uh, these over here. And for the number six, it's a little more detailed, as you'll see here. So. Uh, let's start out at this top corner and then go straight down and then back to the corner and then back to the starting point like that. And then we're going to start at the corner of the inside of the six right here. We're going to stop, start at this corner, straight down, straight back up, right back to the starting point like that. And again, we're going to draw this shape right here and then back to the starting point and there's that. Then we're going to start at this corner straight down to that corner then straight over to this corner and then straight down to the bottom of the number six and back to this corner and then back to the starting point and then uh, we can grab the uh, the select tool and hold shift and click on each of those shapes that we just drew including the number one shape and we're going to turn that 30 percent gray we'll get rid of the outline by holding shift and clicking on the x uh, click off of it to deselect everything and we could toggle off the guides by going to path uh, not path view and uh, guides our grid uh, um, Grid actually not guides grid, which is the uh, the hashtag key or the uh, the pound symbol You can click on that or you could just press the uh, the pound symbol on the on the keyboard and that'll get rid of it And we can click and drag over all of this group it together hold control and shift and scale it down and there you have it. There's our uh, isometric numbers using Inkscape. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thank you for watching.